Okay, for your week five assignment, you're going to be making a wiki as a whole group. So there's eight or nine of you at this point, and you're all going to be contributing to the same wiki page, much in the same way that Wikipedia is, um, is created by a bunch of volunteers who got together and created the world's largest encyclopedia ever. Just a total cooperative volunteer effort have produced this amazing thing. Well, we're going to produce something amazing, too, on our page on our uh, History and Philosophy of Science page. If you look down here under Week 5, I've got a, a cool little video by Brian Green, no relation, on the importance of science. And your assignment is going to be to answer this question, where would the world be without science? And so that's kind of the, the perspective that we're taking on this at this point. There's a lot of ways that science has or potentially has impacted so society since the scientific revolution. And what I want you to each do is choose some aspect of that. It could be the way that evolutionary theory has impacted religion. It could be the way that various scientific theories have impacted technology and what those technologies have done for society. There's all sorts of ways you could do this. You could even take the perspective that you don't think science is really necessary, that maybe it's just technology that's necessary. So there's a lot of perspectives you could take. But anyway, to make the wiki, you're going to come down, so here's your assignment, and click on that for your rubric. I'm going to be putting a rubric in there for this assignment, and you'll be able to view it through that link. For the wiki itself, look at this little kind of uh, weaving here link. Click on that. And you can see I've already kind of started it here, and I'm not trying to give you any ideas about this, uh, but I guess maybe. Where would we be without science? This is actually what the wiki page looks like so far because I went in and make the, made these edits myself. So anybody can come in here and make the edits and I will be able to see who made the edits if I click on this uh, history page here. <clears throat> so you can see uh, what, what people have done here. So if I, if I come over here and click edit, And then, um, so when I click on edit, now I can make changes to this. And just click on this. Probably it's going to be helpful for you to, to toggle to full screen mode here to make your changes. All right, now I see this, the page as a, as a whole screen here. And let's say I'm going to put in one section and say, um, let's say, without science, there would be no cell phones okay so maybe that's my thesis so I'm gonna go ahead and make that bold and I'm gonna make it larger so this is my thesis now I can't just say that I've got to back that up so why is that true why is it true that without science there would be no cell phones and what I want you to do here is kind of tell a story tell the story of the cell phone now you don't have to choose cell phones like I said you get to be talking about evolution and its impact on on the way people think about themselves you could talk about um, Galileo's theory and Copernicus theory and how that changed the way people think about themselves there's there's no limit here really you want to talk about the impacts of, of science and some of the things we've been discussing on the world the scientific method oh that's huge you could talk about the impact of the scientific method on the world but in this case, if I want to look at, at cell phones, so I'd want to tell the story of where cell phones came from and what, why was science, what role did science play and what role does science play in the continued development of cell phones. All right, now you're going to be going back here possibly to um, theories about electromagnetism, for example, and um, theories about theories that have enabled people to use electronics and computer science. So there's really no limit here and again take a look at the rubric for specific requirements here I'm going to be looking for use for you to use photos and to include hyperlinks so let's let's just go into a couple of those those two particular issues here uh, embedding photos and hyperlinks you can embed photo or media here through these little buttons on the editor I'm gonna just try I'm gonna show you how to put a photo in because that's really most essential here so insert image now this will send me to my computer where I can go and 
browse for a file and let's say I wanted to put in a picture of Charles Darwin uh, I don't think he has much to do with cell phones but let's put him in there anyway upload his file and it's as easy as that so you get your file off of Google Images or whatever you save it to your computer you can change the size of the image uh, which, which you might very well want to do now what if I wanted to make a link uh, cell phones were created by Charles Darwin now of course that's not true but let's say I was gonna do that and I wanted to um, make a link to Charles Darwin here or perhaps to a source that that told me that cell phones were created by Charles Darwin how would I do that well I can select these words Charles Darwin come up here to the link you see a little chain click link and then up here I would put HTTP and I would just you can cut and paste the URL here www dot that's not true dot com okay so something like that insert the link and there you go you've got a link in there you can change fonts and so forth so if I select this title I can change the color of it I can give it some highlighting can do all sorts of things. Let's see if I let's say I wanted to put in a YouTube video. Now be very sparing with YouTube videos unless they're really uh, generally short and make a really important point kind of like the point uh, the YouTube video that I put up there for this for week five of Brian Green about why he thinks science is important. Something short and to the point that really the kind of thing we're looking for there when you're embedding video is you would have to quote this if you were not putting it in there as a YouTube video. Okay, now I'm going to find or upload. In this case, uh, you're going to be looking for, you can put a YouTube video in here if you click this. Uh, let's see. Charles Darwin, cell phone. All right, so I'm going to find some, uh, some links here that obviously are nonsensical because Charles Darwin doesn't make cell phones. But I could, anyway, I could embed a YouTube video in that case if I wanted to. All right, and actually, the way I'm not sure if the wiki works this way, but when you're using the general HTML editor, if you make a hyperlink like this and it is to a YouTube video, it will automatically embed the YouTube video right in there. And I'm guessing it will it will probably do the same thing here, although I'm not sure. All right, so play around with that. Now, what I want you to do is turn in a rough draft of this by Thursday night, just so that I can make make suggestions and we can make improvements and really dress this thing up. If I wanted to change the orientation of this picture, I could go alignment and put it to the right, for example. I could also, another important thing to be able to do with, with images is to, maybe you want to put spacing around them, for example. Maybe I want to see put a border on it whatever I don't have any border on this all right so you get the idea and uh, after you're done with with your edits just click toggle back out of full screen like this and then you can preview this we can see how this looks all right very nice that's how our wiki page looks. So that's just a preview. I'm going to click Save. All right, and good luck. Have fun with that. If you have any questions, please just email me. Of course, you want to do it before, you know, 11 o'clock the night that it's due. That's something. But uh, just email me whenever you want. I'm, I'm here pretty much all day, most days, so I can respond in a pretty timely manner generally. All right, thanks for listening.